It's October 24th, 1995, Game 3 of the World Series. The Cleveland Indians versus the mighty Atlanta Braves. I'm a 25-year-old coach for the Indians in my second year in pro ball. The game is an extra inning thriller. We're down 2-0 in the series and need a win. In a near midnight stroke of magic, veteran Eddie Murray steps to the plate, a man built on discipline and preparedness, and delivers the game-winning hit. A triumph of achievement for sure. After being in baseball over 2,000 games, three World Series, and 12 plus years, I learned a profound lesson. I call it the pain exchange. But the lesson extends way beyond baseball. It resonates across elite forces, military, police, firefighters, artists, musicians, entrepreneurs, and world-class athletes. The pain exchange is for everyone, everywhere, in every what you are looking to accomplish. A global initiative that just resonates with all. The above mentioned go into deep training from the best in the world who know exactly what it takes. Now, I'm not talking about the pain where your mom says, stop being a pain in the neck. And I'm not talking about when you get a little boo-boo on your finger. I'm not talking about that pain. I'm talking about the two pains in life. The pain acquired through discipline and the pain experienced with regret. The question I pose to you is this. Which pain do you choose? Do you choose the pain of discipline a high level, high cost, but acute and short lived pain? Or do you choose the pain of regret? A chronic pain that lingers for a lifetime. Listen, discipline isn't always pleasant. In fact, it produces a harvest of righteousness and peace for those who have been trained by it. It is an acquired treasure that we get from learning the right way, the satisfaction, and understanding through attained skills and wisdom. Let's dive deeper into the essence of this discipline, because it's not just about enduring pain, it is a strategic choice. So here's, let's take a look at the difference between this acute and chronic pain. Acute pain, like the soreness after an intense workout, is short-lived. I have been blessed to have good quality of life and health and I love playing on the ground with my grandson and lifting him up. I want you to think about your life in 10 years and you playing with your children or your grandchildren or walking the golf course or playing tennis, walking and hiking up in the mountains and looking over these beautiful vistas, waking up every day feeling healthy and well. In my journey, it has always been about having discipline. I have been through trials. I have felt and learned from my failures, and I have felt the acute pain of discipline in various forms, pushing my body to its physical limits, to nausea with hill running and training, from going into late night meetings and the discipline and challenge of speaking on stages, taking these late night meetings and then getting up at 4 a.m., 5 a.m. in the morning to start working out, and begin that discipline again. But here's the thing about acute pain. It is short-lived, a necessary part of growth, a short-term sacrifice for long-term gain. Winners understand this, and they embrace the acute pain of discipline so they can avoid the chronic pain of regret. So when we think about this regret, we get this chronic ache that comes into our mind and our hearts. And we have all had that moment where we go into things unprepared and unwilling to choose the harder but right path. When I was a senior in high school, we were headed to the state title and I was getting prepared for that. Our third state championship in a row. 
but I was resting on my laurels. I had not done the physical preparation that I need to. I had a tweaked back and from, a, from a muscle strain and I needed to be doing my PT. I should have been physically, mentally, and morally training and prepared and I knew better and I wasn't doing it now. I can't go back on it. There's not going to be another state title. These 20 young men in this biggest moment of their lives now have one memory that's going to take it to, their less, to the rest of their life. And we lost. Yet, forever felt in the pain of regret. So, here's the thing about regret. We go through it. It's a challenge for us. And it stays with us. And our choices sometimes can endure for a lifetime. You've probably been there before. The time, maybe your mother said you shouldn't go to that party and you decide to go anyway. And bad things happen. Listen, kids, when your parents tell you that nothing good happens after midnight, believe and trust them. As a young boy, I remember being disobedient to my parents and then lying about it. When my parents found out I took a spanking on my tushy that I did not enjoy at all, and I didn't want to sit down for about 10 or 15 minutes. But the real pain was in the regret of seeing the disappointment in my parents' eyes and knowing that I'd let them down, the very people that have given me unconditional love. You know, when I transitioned from being an athlete to coaching world-class athletes, I observed this one trait in the most accomplished athletes self-discipline. They made a daily commitment to doing hard things, meeting schedules, meeting the demands of others, learning continuously, and executing with precision. The best in the world choose discipline over regret. They know that in the grand scheme of things, it is a, the acute pain is a short-term resolution to a long-term challenge, and they accept that for satisfaction and wisdom from themselves. Winners in sports, business, all walks of life, all fields understand this pain exchange. They also understand the power of routines and the importance of it. Let's consider the analysis of reviewing the tapes. Athletes go back and they review the game, they review the tape, they analyze what went wrong, and sometimes, more importantly, what went right. They make minor changes to those errors that create and yield major impact. They have a, continu- a mindset for continuous improvement, and they are committed to excellence. Success is not about being interested, it is about being committed to taking daily action every single day. It's not about talking, it's about doing. Actions speak louder than words, and winners set themselves apart by their commitment to taking daily and consistent action. Now, as we walk this journey through life, we are constantly engaged in this battle between pain and discipline. Discipline is the obvious choice Understanding that that acute pain is a stepping stone to triumph, embracing our daily grind, and accepting the challenge of this difficult and strenuous routines gives you a major advantage. And more importantly, the discipline is the stepping stone to achieving your goals and continuously being successful. In the words of Theodore Roosevelt, winners strive valiantly, knowing the triumphs of great achievement. My challenge to you today is this. In your daily activities, in your daily choices, choose the pain of discipline. Spend your energy in a worthy cause. Find your triumph of great achievement, just like Eddie Murray. Are you ready to make the exchange? Thank you.